we've got Belle and Boo and the yummy scrummy day. And this is written by Mandy Sutcliffe. Mandy Sutcliffe what are those? is the author. What are those? Those look like peaches to me, Liam. What and those? those are Belle's knees. What are those? Those are Belle's knees, sweetheart. No, no, what are those? I don't know what they've drawn on her knees. It's a bit... I'm not sure what's on her knees, but those are her knees. So as I say, Mandy Sutcliffe is the author. She wrote these words that you can see. She's also the illustrator. She drew these beautiful pictures too. Let's see what's happening inside. Uh -huh, let's see. What, what are we doing? That's, she's saying, this book belongs to... And you can write your name there, see? Oh, look, here we go. Got a special message. To what all... you, what you, what being... Boo is trying to put on a jumper, Niam. As you can see. Can you see the jumper? Putting on a jumper. See? What? Boo's head is in here somewhere. And so are Boo's front paws. See? To all of the wonderful team at Bell and Boo, thank you for helping me create an enchanting world for everyone to enjoy and for all the fun we have had along the way. Let's see what fun there is in this book. Here we go, Niam. Ready? This is Belle. There she is. And this can is Boo. Can I it out? We can, after we've read it, yes. They are always together. On sunny days, rainy days, and dreamy, let's be... Lazy day. And they say that. Okay, do you want to say should we do it again? Okay, you ready to you ready to say your bits? They are always together on sunny days. Rainy day. And dreamy, let's be Yummy day. Good reading, lazy days, yes. There's their house and they've got a tree house too, look. Yes. Here we are. This is a hungry sort of day. Sighed Boo, patting his tummy. We haven't got one. There's one outside. We haven't got one what? Outside. What outside? There's one outside. We've got one a hungry sort of day outside? No, no. Um, but I'm just... Oh, a tree house. That's right. We haven't got a tree house outside. That's right. Right, so where were we? What would you like for breakfast, smiled Belle. Cookies and cake, said Boo. Boo, Belle laughed. You can't just eat cake. Not even carrot cake, asked Boo, hopefully. Oh, I think many children would like to eat cookies and cake for breakfast, hey? There are probably some grown-ups too. There are lots of other yummy things to eat, Belle said. Belle's a grown-up. You think Belle is a grown-up in this book? She might be. I think she's a big girl. You think she's a big girl? I, I think I agree, yes. Yeah. You think she's a grown-up? Okay, she's like mummy. What sort of things? asked Boo. Well, said Belle, what about porridge? Ouch, said Boo. Too hot. And to say the egg bit. Do you want to say the egg bit? Okay, we're not there yet. The toast. Toast? I want to say that. Go on then. Toast. Too crunchy, said Boo, shaking his head. The bad butter. Too salty, said Boo. Mm-hmm. A speckled boiled egg. egg. Okay. Egg. Too eggy, said Boo. Well, what about the yellow? Well, the yellow, some people like the yellow, some people don't. Oh, well, Boo, daddy, said yeah, Belle. Yeah, yeah. Then. Well, daddy. We do, we like the yellow. It's lying, Mummy. Then she had a splendid idea I don't think that, that might just hot. work. It's not too hot. Why do you think Boo said... Too hot, too because crunchy, and too eggy. That could be very true, yes. I, know, I think that's a good guess. Yes, Danny. Yes. And Boo was lying. Boo was lying? What, when he said too hot, too crunchy, and too eggy? It could have been. A porridge can sometimes be too hot, but you can cool it down. I'm and toast day. doesn't have to be too crunchy if you day. make it a bit softer. I'm, 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 I'm really there. 
You're having to do that. That's right. It. You're going to nap. That's right. We're doing nap time stories. Let's make this a yummy, scrummy day, she said. I'll make a feast for Snuffy <laughs> Elephant, Yellow Duck, and Honey Bear. And you can help me. A feast? Boo exclaimed. Will there be cake? Not today, laughed Belle. Oh, said Boo, looking disappointed. <coughs> oh, sorry, darling, you okay there? Yeah. Neil, we're on the next page, honey. Right, let's see what happens here. Mm -hmm. Belle got her basket and they went into the garden. In the far corner, behind the cherry tree, was the vegetable patch. We'll need some carrots, Boo, said Belle. Is this Neams? Yes. Who got it for her? Hooray, him? said Boo, and he sang a happy song. We gifted this book to him because it's his favourite. Carrots are yummy, carrots <coughs> are fine. <coughs> I like <coughs> <to> <coughs> carrot cake <coughs> <and mushroom. coughs> We'll sing it like that in a moment, honey. Carrots are orange, carrots are long. And this is my carroty rabbity song. Should we sing it the other way now? Are you ready? Carrots are yummy. Carrots are fun. I like to have carrot cake in my dumb. Carrots are orange. Carrots are long. And this is my carroty rabbity song. No carrot cake today, said Belle, as she filled her basket with vegetables. Boo began to feel worried. He was getting very hungry. This is a butterfly. Hmm. Your pasta does look like butterflies, that's right. Shall we continue reading? Here we go. Boo followed Belle to the orchard. She picked some apples and plums. What don't you want, Neem? Ooh, can I pick some blackberries? Said, asked Boo. Neem, are you ready to say your bit? Be careful of the prickles, said Belle. Okay, you come back, honey. Boo was good at dodging the prickles and finding the fattest blackberries. And he liked having purple paws. Picking fruit is fun, Boo said. But I won't eat any good reading, Tiana. You don't have to, said Belle kindly. Good, said Boo. <laughs> Too fruity. Mommy, Good can reading. I just say the word Boo? Okay, you can read the word Boo if you want to, yes. Back in the kitchen, they put all the vegetables in a lovely big pot of soup. Belle stuffed the apples with plums and blackberries and sparkling brown sugar. Boo was getting hungrier and hungrier. His tummy started to rumble, and then something surprising What's happened. Apple, I realize that, sweetheart. Sorry. The bubbling soup and baked apples started to smell. <gasps> Interesting. Ooh, look. Hmm, oh, it out on my ear. Niam, Niam, it's in his bowl, sweetheart. Boo. Sniffed. Belle smiled. Perhaps her plan was starting. To work. Mmm. Let's see. At last, Belle served the feast in her best tea set. Snuffly elephant, yellow I'm duck, saying. and honey bear, you can, Danny, looked very happy, if you must. Boo was secretly longing to taste everything. Sorry, you missed reading Boo again, honey, because you're moving around. Are you ready? Uh. But Belle said, you don't have to eat. Boo, you don't like soup. I know, said Boo unhappily. Too soupy. Niam, did you not like your pasta, darling? But it smelled so good and the baked apples looked so juicy and sweet. Then, Boo had a perfectly brilliant idea. He scampered away and found some very useful dressing up things. Look, a whole box of them. And he's trying on different bits. 
Please. Let's see what he's going to be. Here we are. Oh, look. A few minutes later, a stranger arrived. Look. He had tall, wobbly legs. He knows that. They're, they're plant pots on string. A thick golden mane, she looks like she, ribbon, she knows the taxi, boo. and a long swishy tail. I think you're right. Can you tell it's still Boo? Yes. Yeah, she, so I, I think Belle probably knows too. Let's see. I am Mr. Lion, said the stranger in a funny deep voice. Funny. I'm a new toy. Come and join and the feast, lipstick. said Belle like a with a smile. Who's got a lip left? Mummy? I do. Oh, yummy, said the lion. I mean, I'd be delighted. I do have a lip cleft, honey, yes. Is it what? Is it cutting? It's not cutting, no, honey. That's where my lips join together, sweetheart. That's why we all have a bit of a lip dimple or lip cleft. Mr. Lion oh. ate two big bowls of soup and three sticky baked apples. I'll show you in a moment, honey. In the wait, wait, wait. That was splendid, he sighed. Thank you, but um, I have to go now. He began to hurry away. Please don't go yet, Mr. Lion, said Belle. Please stay and tell us a story about lions, or sing a lion song, or, she laughed, do a lion dance. Oh. A lion dance, said Mr. Lion. Oh, dear. Oh, help. Oh, very well. He began to do a strange wobbly dance. Oh, he began. Neem. Sweetheart, I'm trying to keep this straight because there's no point me pointing if people can't see what I'm pointing at. He, he began to do a strange wobbly <laughs> dance. <laughs> yeah. He began to do a strange wobbly dance, waggling his golden mane from side to side. Mommy, do I get to open the but then he started to spin faster and faster on his tall wobbly legs until he wibbled and, wobbled. and wobbled. I, I, and we'll get to that book in a moment. I We're doing this one right now. Crash! Oh, Boo, said Belle, are you all right? Very extra specially all right, Boo replied happily. Very what yummy, scrummy all right. I do this? like veggie bobbly soup this? and fruity is things this? after all. I'm so glad, Boo, said mm. Belle with a big smile. Yes, me. That's a plant pot on string, sweetheart. He was pretending these were his legs. That's string on a plant pot. I'm so glad, Boo, said Belle, with a big smile. Would you like a cookie now? No, thank you, said Boo. His legs are there, honey. You just can't see them. They're in the, look, in the jumper. That's the front paws. There's a back paw, and the other one's on the other side. You can't see the other side, but it's there. I'm too full. That was a good read, even though the book kept bouncing around all over the place. Hey. Mm -hmm. 